Hello, my name is Susbienko. In this video I will talk about Busnell AR1XMP, the R15 tactical red dot. Uh, this one in my hand is one of the two that I got. So we're gonna have a bit a uh, closer look at it. The item comes in this box. Uh, we see there the brand name and the picture of the one by 32 millimeter the R15 shotgun rifle optics uh, that is pretty universal you can swap that or put that on different firearms it has not only red but also green dot in multiple brightness that you can adjust that's from the back side. Uh, the box is pretty nice. Comes the item comes safe in it. As we open up the box, uh, we see the item was in the main compartment. We had a nice silica gel. Those items I always keep. They are nice for storage. Other things. It comes with a bag with the optic. Uh, uh, lens cleaning claws and in this one was the battery then we have some paperwork uh, that one is for register then we have a bit oh that's the limited the lifetime limited warranty there uh, for USA and in Canada uh, other countries may worry. Then we have the manual. We're going to have a look at that first. I find it important that the manual is fully on the video. So in case you lose the manual or it's already a couple of years ago, then, then uh, that manual may be not around anymore. So you can always look at the video, stop the video and read it. Uh, we see the typical windage and elevation adjustment and uh, the integrated mount for the Picatinny rail is all standard and uh, we have a tactical T dot reticle and uh, the intensity dial window there uh, as you wanna Adjust it for zeroing in it. That is basically like any other scope. Nothing special there. We see the manual is pretty short too. The battery is a lithium battery. Uh, 2032. Uh, lasts pretty long but I suggest always to have a couple of those in a stock and handy because the, the lithium battery have a self life of 10 years that uh, gonna be good in storage for a long time and uh, also how the battery comes in there we're gonna have a look at that too they have a two year limited warranty there and we see also No, the website is not listed. There is, it is listed. Uh, Boosnell.com. There you see the latest information on that product, what they all make. Uh, Boosnell is a good company. They are long time in business and make pretty good optics. So what we see here is the item. We have the usual places for adjust it in the up and down and left to right. This is the big knob for the adjustment of the color and the on and off as we turn it we see there is green 5 so that would be the maximum on green then is 0 and then is 1 that is the minimum on red and uh, that is pretty easy we see the screws here that they put the two pieces together we also see the mounting system here, it's a typical easy screw on and off mount, the, 
the parts here are in a size for a coin or for a screwdriver so that's pretty pretty easy too we have covers the front one is a simple rubber piece that comes off and the back one is in a similar way just a simple piece that goes on and off there is no hinge and no nothing and we see on top is built in a uh, open site with kind of three dot markings uh, basically after the coating they did mill a bit in the aluminum to give a uh, uh, three dots uh, what I gonna do on my ones is I gonna put a bright orange in the front dot that is it is a bit more easier to spot uh, on the rifle properly mounted the, the gap in between here is too big for the for the front side there uh, that has too much play that would have be better if they made it a bit more narrow but uh, this is only for short distances as an emergency site so I guess that should work I need to test it a bit out the next spring and summer see how well it is in that regards then as we want to look at the, at the site I'm gonna go on green on 5 now uh, hopefully the camera will see it focus there that that uh, dot with the T uh, we have number 4 now there we are number 3 number 2 that is already dim and then we have number one in green then it goes to zero then we go to red five the maximum brightness of it four three two one and zero uh, remember because of the camera that may look a bit different in the brightness and the color than it is actually on the real item uh, that is how it is then we have the adjustment adjust on screw one the one on top here I put a bit grease on it already so it's a typical adjustment uh, it's clearly marked up there with the arrow towards the right and uh, we have there below a rubber o-ring so it is uh, a bit sealed off that is up and down and left and right is exactly the, the same over there and for take off the battery you need to hold the main part of that wheel that it's not gonna turn and unscrew the cover uh, sometimes it is needed to use a coin see how well yeah it's still really cold here in North Georgia so you can use a coin I usually don't uh, like to use it because it may scratch the, the finish uh, but it has a little bit of knurling on the side so if you have good hands you can put that up and they uh, always make sure the part here is on zero to prevent that the battery is draining so we see here it's a Maxell uh, CR2032 I always mark it on the battery when I put it in this one was put in in January 2015 and again it's lithium so that lasts quite a while with a self life 10 years uh, I don't know yet if the item drains the battery uh, even a little bit as it is on off position but always have a bit spare batteries on hand in that size there so you can you can uh, swap it uh, that is always a good idea we see here also the rubber o-ring that seals the battery compartment as you put it on you need to be careful the thread is really fine to put it on not that you get it angled 
Well, that is hard for me to reach around the camera. You just need to get to a point where it is started that it is flat and not crooked and then you simply put it back and tighten it by hand. That doesn't need to be absolute hard tight because uh, that has the, the rubber seal in there as you put it on by hand or with a, with a coin uh, just make sure it is on zero again and not gonna give any light uh, sometimes as it is on low you have a hard time see it it depends on the on the light that is on the surrounding uh, one of those I already put on uh, palmetto upper that I did rework video is also on my Swiss Bianco YouTube channel the bottle got uh, taken off got blasted then I mounted a simple free float on uh, this one uh, 12 inches if I remember right it's a 16 inch bottle and uh, the rest is standard so that's how the, the item look as it is mounted on the R15 uh, it's a little bit on the medium size I would say it's not too big and not too too small it has quite a bit of uh, uh, a size to it but the, if you shoulder it the side picture that it gives is really nice I liked it from start as I put it in the, the shoulder first time the color of course what you select and the, the color brightness is up to you it depends on the surrounding where you shoot but that is all easy adjustable and uh, the, the side picture is really nice the only thing what I need to look is what I gonna do a bit with the reddish color that the optic has in front uh, I gonna test that out how well it reflects or not if I gonna do something in front of the site like a honeycomb or something like that that uh, is a bit something that I need to experiment with and uh, also the covers uh, the covers are just simple rubber pieces that go up I mean on it and are taken off so that is a bit somehow a bit uh, a cheap variation I don't know yet what I gonna do with that at least in front it would be nice to have a bit something that that uh, covers and uh, because of the unique shape of the optic there is quite likely not much items that we that we can use that other companies manufacture the optic you get currently in USA in many places look a bit around about the, the prices uh, my ones came from Palmetto as the upper as well uh, sometimes we get their crazy deals but you need to wait a bit with the, the shipping shipping time usually is rather long so that much about the Busnell R15 red and green dot